afternoon, everyone. I'm Craig Studnicki. I'm the CEO and real estate broker for related ISG International Realty. And welcome to the next edition of the Insider Series. Today, we are with Richard Greenfield from the Brickell office. Yes, today we're at the Brickell office because Carolina Gertz has the Insider Series on tour. Last week, we were in our brand new offices in East Fort Lauderdale. Today, we're here in the Brickell office. Uh, next week, I understand she wants me to go to Weston, Florida. So for those of you that don't have anything to do, next Thursday, why don't you go to Weston and you'll see whoever we're going to be talking to then. In the meantime, we're here today with Richard and we're here in this uh, wonderful office that we've had now for a few years. But anyway, Richard, welcome. Thank you. Good to have you here, man. Happy to be here. Now, I know we've talked about this before, but I'm gonna say it again. The Insider Series is so much about your colleagues inside Related ISG your competitors slash colleagues outside of related ISG getting to know a lot more about you. Um, one of the top producers consistently year in and year out with related ISG. And hopefully along the way, getting to know a little bit more about related ISG. And what is it about related ISG that you like so much? What is it about related ISG that makes related ISG even tick? So with that said, let's get started. We'll talk about Richard Greenfield. I'm ready. You're from Miami. Born and raised. You are the one and the only. For those of you that have wondered which realtor in all of South Florida is from Miami, Richard Greenfield. Carolina Gertz is from Cartagena, Colombia. Liz Lopez is from Cuba. Donna from last week, she's uh, in Cognavia, in, in, in Corbaja. I'll get that last name eventually. She is from Alta, Italy. You, sir, are from Miami, Florida. So you've had an inside look into the evolution of Miami for several decades now. But more than that, what is it that got you into real estate? My mom. Your mom? Yeah. She used to sell new construction homes for a local builder. Um, and I worked the front desk on the weekends in high school. And when I got out of college, I figured out that this is what I wanted to do. Because you were eavesdropping, Richard Greenfield. You were listening. And when your mother closed the deal and you watched her moonwalk, maybe not as good as Michael Jackson, but when you watched her moonwalk, you wanted that. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's a fantastic feeling. It is still, still a good feeling. Yeah. No matter how long you're doing this, it doesn't get old. Oh, that feeling is amazing. Yeah, that's what keeps us going back over and over and over again. So how long have you been then with Related ISG? Since 2011. So from the beginning. From the beginning. 2011, for those of you that are not keeping track, that's when we began related ISG in partnership with related. I mean, I've known you longer than that. Um, and I'm gonna forget that prior experience, which I have forgotten until I'm talking to you now about it. I'm just joking. I'm just so happy that you joined us when we started this because you've helped establish um, a nice precedent in our company. You're very professional, you're very consistent. You have a certain expertise that I want, would like you today, if you don't mind, to share with your colleagues today about, about the area that you specialize in, which is which is Brickell, which is downtown, which is Edgewater, it's Wynwood. You you know it pretty much like the back of every hand. I mean, I know you know other markets like Sunny Isles and Fort Lauderdale as well, but not quite like this. So what was it about Related ISG that made you want to join? And what more particularly, what is it about Related ISG that keeps you here? Well, what made me want to join? Um, when we were working on a deal at this game, before Related ISG had even... True. Um, well, that was 2010, 9 and 10. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, we were working on deals there. We had a rapport. Um, I liked the direction that the company was going, and new construction is something that I've always been involved in. Um, so when the sign went up on this office, I called and I spoke to Sergio Pinto. Oh, okay, Sergio. Yeah. And here we are, Mr. Monte Video. Nine yeah. years later. Yeah. Here we are. Sergio and I go back almost 20 years when I met him in, uh, in Montevideo. He was quite a big player in that part of the world. His, his, uh, he and his dad had a company that was probably every bit the size of what related is in Miami. Um, so I'm so happy Sergio convinced you to, uh, to join the tribe. But what is it that keeps you here? Aside from the personal relationships that I have with people inside, with you, with a few people in here, um, Carolina Liz, you can say it. Carolina and Liz are here. Um, the, that's part of it. Uh, another part of it is, look, we are on 
the front lines of what's happening next in South Florida, not just in Miami. Um, we know what land deals are happening, what developers are planning, what they're not planning. Mm -hmm. um, and being at, having that inside track really helps my investor clients pick the next place to go. Well, one of the things that we promise you is in, the, in Related ISG, it's a partnership between Related, a company that's been developing condos in all of South Florida for over 30 years. And then there's ISG, which produces Miami reports. By the way, this is the new written printed copy, which is available here in the Brickle office for you to pick up. This is 2020. We promise you the Miami report. We promise you insight into, into real estate here in South Florida, because I believe that real estate and politics are very local in nature. Very much so. Okay, and you have to, and we, between the combination related and ISG, we promise you that we're always gonna give you inside information and more than that, insight as to what's happening in the market here in South Florida. And have we delivered? 100%. Okay, and is that something, I wanna, for your colleagues, even in related to ISG, it's something that I, I know I always make a promise of delivering consistently, almost erotically, but I wanted you all to have that edge against, not just against your competitors, but on behalf of your clients. Especially on behalf of our clients. So we're able to really identify the next opportunities um, because we have people who are buying and selling all the time. Mm -hmm. We don't sure. just represent somebody who is an end user who is going to live in this you know million dollar condo with a view. Um, they're also investing things for Returns. Yes, yes. We finished every one of these discussions with your golden nugget. Um, the thing that gets you through your day, your week, your month, because not everything is rosy, particularly in the year 2020. We are all, every human being on the planet is experiencing unexpected headwinds that just stubbornly just don't want to subside. And yet, the real professionals find a way to get out of bed every day and show up with that consistent professional attitude. And you absolutely exemplify that, I think. But before we hear from you what that secret sauce is inside Richard Greenfield, as I said earlier, you're an expert in this part of the world, Brickell Avenue, downtown of Miami, Edgewater, Wynwood. What have you noticed? We'll say in, in, this is, we're approaching the end of Q3. September 30th ends the business quarter of, uh, of, of the third business quarter of 2020. How would you compare Q3 to Q2. Night and day. Whoa. Night and day. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Q2, <laughs> there were there was still some activity happening in Q2. Some of that business was written in Q1. Mm -hmm. um, True. I sold and closed things during Q2. Um, some single family homes that were a challenge. There's little inventory. There's lots of buyers. There's super low interest rates. So people want to buy, particularly during that time thought I can never go into a crowded place again. I have to buy a house and land and I can be safe. Um, people aren't so scared anymore. People are realizing that if you take the proper precautions, you know, you can, you can be around people. You know, the end of May, early June is when Miami kind of reopened and there was this conversation going up there around all over Miami, for that matter, perhaps the United States, about this pent up demand that we're all gonna experience once quarantine is lifted. And I absolutely saw that in June, didn't you? Me too. Yeah, we were, too. we were flying here in Miami. Restaurants were open, gyms were open, buildings were open, hotels were open, we were doing great. And then in July, we became the epicenter for this virus around the country again. And then, wow, felt like May all over again. In the month of, and, and I, I found a lot of, re, of buyers reluctant to go into buildings. Single family homes, no. Single family homes have been selling very well this year. I know you have benefited from that mightily. But towards the second half of August, I started to see a little bit of a shift. Tell me what your experience Especially in the last two weeks. Yeah, in, in these buildings. I have listings that have been sitting for three or four months, which isn't a super long time to be on the market. But if you're a seller with carrying costs, three or four months is not a short time. No. And <laughs> no, it's not. I've gotten three offers on listings. They've been optimistic ones, but you know, somebody just went under their contract today. And so this is all like in the last week or two. And this is a listing that I would put up. They came to see one. I go, oh, I'm going to get another one. And they bought it. So that's part of 
the ability to like get a customer and find what they want, show it to them, and sell it to them. So people are feeling, in your opinion, they're starting to feel a lot more safe about going into people are not so nervous anymore. Okay. Why not so nervous? So what's the advantage? And we know that low interest rates, which are historically U.S. low, is fueling a lot of this buying demand. But how significant are the interest rates, particularly when you compare it to It's sales? less than inflation. You're making money on the spread by getting a mortgage. Guys, so stop very, renting. That's a very key point that Richard Greenfield just made. Because Chairman Powell of the Fed is trying to target inflation in the United States at 3%. If you can get a mortgage, which you can, just on the street. You know, forget this, this sounds like a mortgage sales pitch, but that's like free money when you compare it to the overall inflation rate. And I never in my life thought I'd see mortgage rates below below three percent. But it's that totally fueling a uh, buying demand all over the country, particularly here in, in South Florida. Are you seeing where are most of your buyers coming from before we get to the greenfield nugget? So the, these latest offers, um, one is from Spain, one is from New York, and one is local. Welcome to Miami. You know, we really are an amazing melting pot of Latin America, every now and then Europe, and the New Yorkers are coming here. They will be here in probably even larger numbers this winter than we expect. As soon as the weather changes? In last winter, yeah, very true. So, now I wanna to go to your golden nugget. Um, what is it that, and I mean this sincerely, you are a consistent pro. You dress to the nines, you're extremely knowledgeable about the neighborhood that you practice real estate sales in, and you're a human being as well. So how do you bypass headwinds and deliver what you deliver? I'm very lucky because my clients trust me, and they also keep me on my toes. So I've learned that if I put my client's interest ahead of mine, everybody wins. Everybody wins. And it's led to lots of repeat business, uh, lots of referrals um, and people who really trust me. and that's you know you can't get that in a, in a transactional you just read my mind because we've all been taught in the last 10 years or so that real estate in South Florida is now transactional we don't work for the buyer or the seller real estate agents work for the deal but you don't you're like a single agent realtor by the way so am I it's, and it's called fiduciary you work for the client and you expect that that somehow life reciprocates with not just the closing of a deal, but with the with the creation of a brand new relationship. God has for me. Yeah, no, for me God too, God by the way. Because you sell somebody a condo at Brickell City Center for say a million dollars, you're not gonna sell them another one next year, but they have friends and they have family. I remember the, the sale that you made a year ago to the Canadian family, and that was a tough sale. You hung in there for four or five days, breakfast, lunch, and dinner it seemed Yeah, like, it was. You know, and you, not only sold the unit, but I suspect you made some friends. I from, made some uh, friends from Toronto. A lovely family. Um, mother and son came down. Dad was on the phone negotiating really hard. Remotely. He's yeah. going to teach yeah. wife and son a lesson. Of course. Roles. Yeah, of course. But, you know, they're a lovely family. Uh, they'll be down here in a couple of weeks. Um, and they got a fantastic unit. They got the right deal for them. Um, and they, you know, I'm lucky enough that they... Want to hang out? No, it's you, you earned it. You deserve it, and that's how you. That's how you. That's how he is all the time. I've known you for around fifteen years. I'm, I'm so happy you joined our company when we started this Thank this you. this this company with the Related Group. And I want to thank you for being on today's uh, Insider Series. And I hope that you all gained some insight as to what makes this pro tick every single day. Um, it's a pleasure having you all here again on the Insider Series. I'll see you next week from our offices in Weston. Until then, bye-bye now. Thanks for watching.